Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me for another real time edit. It's Ray here. I got this adorable black skimmer chick and some gorgeous rim light, some late evening sun. So, this should be a fun edit. Let's get into it. All right, first things first, I'm going to crop out some of this left side. Um, this guy decided to make a run for it. I was just on center single, uh, single center focus point, so I didn't have a lot of time to recompose in camera. So I just made sure it was in focus and figured I'd do it later. All right, so I wanna make sure to include all this bokeh and this lovely glowing in the background. A Little bit crooked there, so we'll straighten that out. And then roughly drop him on that left third. All right, so let's see. A Little bit warmer, a little bit less magenta. A little bit brighter and then definitely drop the blacks get some contrast in now it's too green so i'll kick the magenta back in and i think that's about it might just drop a linear gradient on the bottom here just to kind of darken that a little bit more and then the rest i think is going to happen in photoshop because i'm pretty happy with where this is so let's head on over to photoshop see what we can do there all right I think the first thing is I'm going to just remove that little bit right there. Maybe some stuff over here. Let's see. I don't know. Let's clean this up a little bit. Actually, now I'm, now that I zoom in, there's more stuff to get rid of. So just basically, just basic cloning here. Just get rid of some of these, uh, to me, visual distractions that are pretty minor. But uh, I think it'll just help kind of clean up the image a little bit if I don't have those kind of grabbing for attention there. So something like that, we'll get rid of that lighter. Definitely this big dark thing there. All right, that cleaned up that side. I'm not, not in love with the big dark, whatever that is, stick, branch, kind of leaning right into the bird there. So we'll clone some of that out. There we go. All right. And we'll have to clone, or uh, I'm sorry, mask that back in. Get a nice soft brush. Make sure I don't lose too much of that lovely glow. Got to get a little bit more detail there. There we go. I think that's kind of doing it. All right, cool. That's good on that side. Let's go back over here and continue. Um, Maybe just a little bit there. Just lighten those things up and yeah, just make it look like it's kind of fading into the background. Yeah, it seems good enough. All right, next thing is I think I'm going to darken the whole thing just a little bit and add a little bit more contrast to it because I really want that background to be dark and rich. Uh, I want it to be more about the glow, right? More about the rim light on this bird. So something like that seems pretty good. But then I do want to lighten him back up just a little bit here. Not that much. We'll go a little bit lighter with it. There we go. And maybe just yeah, right around there. And then I'll throw a dodge layer on. And let's see, we'll go down to two pixels. I want to try and kind of help complete the rim light around the top of the bill there. And I will fade this out when I'm done, but for now, I'm just going to paint it in a little bit stronger. There we go. Uh, the rest of the glow is, I mean, pretty spot on. I don't think I need, yeah, anymore. And it starts overexposing in areas. I guess there's some spots that can take a little bit more lightness on it, but that's about it. Um, ah, you know what? I'm kind of digging the, uh, the rim light that I put in there, but I'll fade it a little at the top because there wasn't as much there and a little bit at the bottom. Uh, and then I always kind of like seeing the, the glow through the nostril hole there. <laughs> um, I think that might be it. A little bit dark on this area back here. I love these grasses and the way they were just kind of glowing. And so I'll kind of back off that darkening there. And now I think, yeah, I think I'm pretty good. I think that's about it. So before, after in Photoshop here, let's save it. We'll get back into Lightroom and compare it to the total before uh, while I'm doing that. A quick mention, I have four different shows now, all free content to check out. Uh, the Wildlife Photo Chat podcast where I interview other photographers. The Raw show weekly with me and my friends Emily and Susan, photographers' favorites. 
me and another photographer pick five of our favorite photos from other photographers and talk about what we love. And then the monthly Wild Conversation show, which is a live show on YouTube. Uh, me, Brad, Emily, and Jamin on that one. Tons of fun. Hope to have you join us on that. We have another one coming up shortly. So check those out. If you want to learn exactly how I did what I did on the video today, uh, head on over to rayhennessy.com. Go over to the workshops, online workshops, and then check out the uh, online remote sessions, your best option there. You can just schedule a time with me to go over everything that I do nice and slow, step by step, and we can do it with your photos and I'll answer any questions you have, but I do have some other online options you can check out here as well. All right, let's jump back to Lightroom. Here's that final edit. We'll compare that to the beginning image. There we go, right? Much better color. This one's definitely a little washed out in green. Um, it's definitely weak because I was shooting into the sun, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, I was shooting with, yeah, the, uh, the uh, 300 F4, which can can certainly flare out a little bit more and get loose contrast. Uh, so much better color here and composition, some nice richness to it. It really takes on that sunset vibe. And yeah, a photo I'm very happy with. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next one.